Hey y'all, it's Erica, and today I'm here to do a review. This is Quesadillas by Juan Pablo Villalobos. Juan Pablo Villalobos is a Mexican author. I believe he's most famous for, at least as far as I know, um, his book Down the Rabbit Hole. I have not read that, but I was looking for that and found this instead and decided to give this a go. Uh, this is a very short little novel. It's about 160 pages. I'm not really sure these days what qualifies something as a novella, but it's definitely teetering on that ledge. This book was published in 2012. It was originally written in Spanish, and it was translated by Rosalind Harvey into English. British English, as I figured out. Not that I mind either way, but interesting tidbit. Um, so this is a story of a family who lives in Mexico during the 1980s, and they're living there during some political unrest involving um, rigged elections and dissatisfaction with the government, um, and it is specifically during uh, the time of the revolts against the International Revolutionary Party. This was great. It was really fun, but also at the same time, very gritty. So it's a family, the story is about a family, mom and dad, and they have seven kids. And all of the kids have names taken from like classical Greek myths and literature and history. So the kids' names are, and I'm going to pronounce some of these wrong, and I'm sorry, not a classical Greek person. Uh, Aristotle, Orestes, Archilochus, Callimachus, Electris, Castor, and Pollux are the name of the kids. And it's mainly told from the perspective of the second oldest, who is a son, and his name is Orestes. They call him Oreo. And this book, it's so short, but it deals with so much anger. And there's kind of this trope going through it where his mom cooks the family quesadillas for dinner every night, and depending on what their financial situation is like, maybe one night they have giant fat quesadillas, or, you know, they have poor man's quesadillas, as he calls them. So there's this theme throughout it about the economic fluctuation in Mexico at the time. This is definitely satire-based. And how one day the peso would inflate and then it would deflate the next day, and he mentions that a lot. There's this definite theme of otherness and aliens, and there are actual mention of, like, real, like, from outer space aliens, but there's also this sense of feeling alien and feeling like you don't belong. There's a little bit of discussion about actual immigrants, which can be referred to, I guess, as aliens, um, to the United States and what that's like. And it was just a really nice book. It's beautifully translated. And I speak Spanish, and I want to read it in the original Spanish, but I can tell because I've taken some classes on translation, and I'm really, really bad at it. So I can tell that this is really beautifully done. Um, so this translation is great. Again, it's by uh, Rosalind Harvey. I'm not sure that anyone else has actually translated this, so that shouldn't be a problem. But... The translation's beautiful. The language, again, it's very gritty. Listen, the first sentence of this book, like I said, this book is full of anger. And I'm kind of rambling. I'm sorry. I can't script reviews. It doesn't work. The first sentence of this book, though, is, go and fuck your fucking mother, you bastard. Fuck off. So that kind of sets the tone. There's a lot of anger in this book, and there's a lot of pent-up frustration and I don't want to give too much away about the story because it's so short that I would essentially be giving away the whole book. But I do recommend that you read it. It's very interesting. There's all these different... I mean, I could probably, if I sat down with it, find like 900,000 pieces of symbolism because there are these recurring images of cows and watermelons and aliens and uh, quesadillas and all these things. But it's essentially one family's journey to find themselves and to find where they fit and to figure out how they can get along and create a concrete unit when there are so many conflicting personalities at work. And that's, I mean, to me, that's what family is. It's trying to, you know, 
coexist with people who aren't necessarily like you. And I loved it. I highly recommend it. I gave this three and a half out of five stars. Mainly, I, I hardly ever give short books like really high star ratings and I don't know why that is. There's just something about, and especially because I read this in basically one sitting, there's something about reading a book that fast that's really deeply unsatisfying to me. So this probably really deserves four stars, I'm gonna guess, but I have weird personal hangups. What are you gonna do? And yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading Down the Rabbit Hole soon because I know that that kind of has similar themes, but it's more from a child's perspective, whereas this is told from the perspective of a young adult. This is not a young adult novel, by the way. I don't think so, at least. No. But it is told from the perspective of a male protagonist who is, I think, 13, 14. So yeah, I don't think I have that much else to say about this, but this is Case Ideas by Juan Pablo Villalobos, and I really enjoyed reading it. Thanks, guys. See you later.